Hi guys, this is Laura with Duart Valley Homestead. Ah. Well, as you can see, I was going to tell you that uh, we have tracks out here that are much bigger than cat prints. And these are recent because it snowed last night. So this happened sometime between last night and this morning. Look at those prints. This is our cat prints. And this is whatever... This one right here is whatever is not our cat because our cat just stepped right there. As you can tell, they're still fairly fresh. It happened sometime last night or this morning because my husband's footprints are out here too. But we don't have a dog. So I don't know. Yeah, you can see them going out. This way, where no footprints are. Weird. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over predators on the homestead. Um, our biggest problem has been. Sorry, I'm getting the little water filled up for the little goats because a little bit so tiny. But our biggest problem with predators out here on our homestead. Um, was a dog that, a neighbor's dog that had killed uh, some of our chickens before. Uh, we have had foxes, some foxes, I'm following the prints, don't mind me. We have some fox, we have had problems with, uh, foxes coming out. We've actually seen them on the property, but, Yeah. See where this leads. Probably right near the chicken coop. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Following the. Oh, they didn't go to the chicken coop this time. Usually, fox will go right by the chicken coop or somewhere else, but it did look like it possibly went by the turkeys. If this happened during the night, that makes more sense because our turkeys don't go inside, but our chickens do. Crunch, crunch, crunch in the snow. Yeah, look at these prints. This one's really clear. Let's see. You can even see claw marks on it where the, the, claw, the claws on the paws were. And then here's the cat, <laughs> because they have, he has to see what I'm doing. It's sickle, of course. He's a pretty good sized boy, but look at his paw prints compared to those. Big difference, big, big difference. Let's see, still following him. Now they go right past the buck pen and the sheeps. We have had deer come through our property before uh, and raccoons in the trash, but we haven't seen raccoons since some of them were road killed a while back. Let's see. Kind of looks Almost like there's more than one because there's prints that go off that way and prints that go off this way. Better they just double back on themselves. Huh. And here's the little kitty prints. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk to you, let you know that. Um, even though wild animals can be a threat on the homestead, uh, domestic animals can be just as bad. My camera is really shaky because I'm crunching down in the snow. But yeah, domestic dogs killed off. What was it? 13? 
of our hens had left us with five. So we only have five of our original 18 hens we had. Nah, don't mind that mess. The turkeys are gobbling. But yeah, I figured I'd follow those tracks because that was odd. Let's see. And, and what's funny is, even though the rabbits are low, even when this is open in the summer, nothing's bothered them. Let's see, where did I pick those tracks up at? I want to see where they came from. Yeah, they were all the way down here. It looks like they doubled back. But yeah, just be careful of uh, predators on the homestead. Everybody's being noisy, even though they have food. And it's a sickle just following me around. So, say hi to midnight. And there's cutie pie. Look how wide she's getting. Let's see if you can see. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.